I'm Josh Anderson, Director of Assistive Technology for the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. Recently, our team was lucky enough to attend the ATIA conference in Orlando, Florida. Please enjoy this tech tip from one of the vendors from the exhibitor hall. Hi, I'm Jill Adlin from Control Bionics, and we have the NeuroNode Trilogy devices, and they're a great solution for lots of folks, but most especially those people who have very complex bodies who are not able to have consistent, easy access with traditional access methods like switches and traditional eye gaze devices. Okay, so the focus for us is flexibility in terms of access because we know if you have a complex body, it's not going to work for the same for you at all times. So we've got, in terms of how you access the device, you can do it as a traditional eye gaze device with eye gaze plus dwell for activation, but you know that that can be difficult to find the sweet spot between a dwell time that's not so long that your eyes are getting fatigued, but not so short that you're accidentally activating. A switch solves that, it's miraculous, but for many people who need an eye gaze device, a traditional switch is just gonna create a lot of trouble, especially in terms of being able to have access at all times. So that's where what's different about our device comes into play, and that's the NeuroNode, which is actually this little guy. So this is a wearable sensor, so we're not worried about mounting on a wheelchair and then moving from my wheelchair to my stander and losing my mount because it's mounted on me. This can be placed anywhere on the body um, in a variety of different ways. But what's important is how it activates. We have two modes. We have spatial mode where it's going to read with a sensor how it's moving in space or for people who have very difficulty, very difficult times with movement, maybe if I have spinal muscular atrophy or ALS, it can be an EMG mode where it can read even an, an, me trying to make a movement. So I can use an eyebrow. Many of those clients, we're not gonna see any movement from them at all, but I'll show you how it works in spatial. So if I am wearing it in spatial, we have this that lets us see what this motion is like. So if I move, you see that I'm creating a movement pattern with this blue line. And every time my blue line goes from this resting level to this activation level, I'm generating a click on the computer and that opens up a world of possibilities. We are gonna come to the patient, not have the patient come to us. So I wanna see how you move. And if your movement is very small, I will just make that more sensitive. If your movement's very large, I'm going to make it less sensitive. So we look at your movement and come to meet you. And it's all about flexible access. Well, that's your tech tip for today. I want to say thank you to the Indiana Telephone Relay Access Corporation for sponsoring our captions today. My name is Brian Norton with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.